Okay, let's continue with the other parts of the vehicle. Now, right now I have the almost all the shapes, the, the bigger shapes. I think I, I have to focus right now in in other details like the front grille on, on things like this. Well, let me see if I have more reference from the roof. Yeah, I have something here in the roof that maybe could be useful to start doing it. I will create a box here and in the left view I will put this the box from this part this is just a blocking the, the geometry I'm not sure right now exactly how it's done but just to start blocking what I have here to start understanding a little bit m better how the geometry will going to, to work so right now I'm doing this blocking process I'm creating another rectangle I will convert to spline and I will move convert to spline and move the vertex like I did before something like this okay so this is more or less all the workflow right now the, the difficult part is to understand the, the shape so this is a, a, a process a complete process of looking reference start testing and start looking how it's, it's it should looks in different angles different ways so I think there is more or less what I need right now I will load again the the reference let's see if I have a let's see if this image show me a better more m better information about this particular part like you can see here this is more or less what I have here so this is the base so I need to create this block here for this particular block I will going to create a box just a simple box that comes from this side oops okay let me see if this image is showing me something additional no this is completely the blo a block right now okay so like I said I'm just blocking the shape the the main geometry I was going to align to keep this from the top I will going to increase the size just to close all this all this gap okay let me see right now what, what else I'm missing in the left view I will going to increase this to I think it's more like something like this these two objects should be raise, raising a little bit Right now I'm just adjusting the the object to see how to start blocking, start positioning the things. And later we can start refining and improving how it will going to look. So right now it's something like this. Let's move this a little bit up okay so let's go back to this view I don't even understand exactly how this is working I w will look rendering view my file I think I have more detailed section I think this one is more clear let me see yeah sure okay so like you can see here using this reference that works better in almost all the situation that this other one I think it, it, this was because the the crash of the system disabled my viewport resolution yeah 2k yeah, it's not a big difference but 
something okay so what I have here like you can see is uh, just a block that fix all, or, or fill all this empty area I was going to convert this to a editable poly to start modeling more freely because right now it's not there is not too much reference or too much things to, to use as guide so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to split the mesh I'm going to connect and I will go to extrude these particular pieces here I'm going to extrude something like this and then I move down okay so this is more or less what I have here right now there comes these other pieces that I think it should be model different so I will move this down now we're going to create this particular shape okay so for this shape in particular I can uh, do do this using a, a boolean so in the front view for example I will going to create again I will going to create a rectangle okay I will put the round corners and I will place where it looks it's will going to be placed I think a little bit higher I will going to convert to spline and this will going to be a corner I can remove those one and that's all I think it's okay so in the left view again I will place here and I will extrude so like you can see it will going to be extrude mm, more or less here and now what I need what I need is to subtract this particular area here so I was going to create a box I will see if I have a, a reference behind maybe I can use a guide I didn't verify oh yeah I ha this this one is almost visible here like you can see so this is going to be something like this okay so right now I have both both objects so the only thing I need to do is uh, make a boolean let's increase the value let's make this boolean I'm not completely sure about this part right now how this should be I'm not convinced too much about how it's looking because this should be a a circular way I will will stop the boolean I will going to cancel the boolean before I, I want to create this cylinder shape here to see exactly who it will going to fit so I was going to create a cylinder in the front view yeah what I think is is wrong here is the the width of, of this shape I think the cylinder should be something like this so all these pieces here example this pieces here should be something like this I will use this as, as a better guide than the other reference I have right now so I will move this to keep them straight so I think this is a better solution right now because having this object let me scale a little bit more I think the radius is right right now it's just a little bit lower in the position B 
but having this allow me to define exactly the position of the boolean right now for example I will allow this geometry to do the, the this part so right now let's continue with the boolean and that's it I will going to move the vertex a little bit lower exactly more like this and I will going to convert this to editable poly to modify the vertex in the same position okay that that's makes more sense right now for me okay so right now let's it's just a matter of adjusting the the size of this this cannon or this object in particular I will use the the reference to keep more or less what I want I will increase a little bit the radius okay I decrease this one and that's also I will going to convert I will increase the poly count. Remember that later I will going to uh, decimate the object, or maybe if if I have enough time, I can, uh, for example, I can uh, retopology, etc. So I will just going to decrease this, and I will going to add a shell modifier. There are a lot of ways to do it. I can even use instead of cylinder, I can use. I could even use the the two geometry but it didn't take me too too long to, to adjust. This is a gun like you can see here this has a mechanism for uh, shooting a, a missile in the real toy so that's why it looks and it's have these particular pieces here I will take a look if I have a into the reference, I have the exactly position. Yes, it is. So I will, I will do it just for keeping more precise uh, information into the model. So for this, I can use again. I will use the, I will use this time a circle. But I will going to convert this circle to the double spline again, and I will move the vertex. something like this okay then I will go into extrude and again I will going to make a boolean pour operation okay now this is what I have Finally, I need to make another boolean here to put this uh, mechanism here inside. So I will create a box. I don't think I need to make a boolean. I was just going to make the the object to be inside. I will going to convert to editable poly, and just will going to make this look quite similar to the reference and this is it I will move this down and I will increase the radius because like I seen here it is a little bit bigger I will go to align and Let's see, I think it's, it's more proportionate right now. I will move the vertex to the front. And I create a cylinder here inside. I can use a cylinder or I can use a more complex shape. For example, uh, in the standard, I can use a chamfer seal object that is similar to, this, to the cylinder but with a rounded uh, in the in the fillet 
uh, run that ob uh, shape that you can see here. It's run in the fillet segments. You can have a rounded object. This looks nice. So I think it's done my mechanism. Right now it's working or it's looking quite accurate. I will move this a little bit back. Okay. So I know right now <coughs> sorry. I have this, I'm not sure if this is empty area or this is uh, something inside. I will verify if there is there's anything there. Let me see if there, the cockpit show me more information about it. This one is the answer of my question. So like you can see here, this is uh, an L uh, shape in the top view. I will going to create this shape you see here is so again I will going to use a rectangle and I will going to create one this goes something like this okay I will convert this to editable spline I will going to delete these two splines and then I will clone this object here then with this particular line here I can just extrude I will enable the the snap and then I will going to add the shell modifier to give a thickness like you can see something like this okay and this is it Right now I have this particular shape, I can convert this to editable poly in case I want to make more precise adjustment from the vertex position and thing like that. Mm, later I have this part of the object that goes directly in this, I mean this come this way, so in my case this should come this way too, so maybe I have to move this back or I'm not sure what I'm missing so let's see again the reference on those two objects yeah I think it's this this part of the object is far away I mean the the cockpit maybe is is quite far quite length I don't know this okay this is because it's not let me see if I move this vertex this should be in exactly this position but in the side view it looks maybe uh, needs to be more more short mm, I don't know which of the view should I believe right now because obviously in this particular view the cockpit is more far away so maybe the cockpit is in the right size yeah I think this is the right position let's believe this particular object so I will going to convert to poly and move just this vertex to the back of the this line and I will just move this this particular vertex too to this part and then move this to the middle okay so this is it this is what I have right now again I will going to apply to all these objects a single a single material or single color here just to have a, a better understanding of the shape because yeah this 
looks more solid and I can see now what parts or which parts I have working or are, are, are empty or we have a hole something like that I can use the let's see if the high quality allow me to see the occlusion let me see how it looks and in the meantime I will going to save my scene